I'm at a gypsy. If I, if someone said to me, you got a 250 factory bike to ride, what would you ride? I'd walk straight to that tent. And just to say that I could have rode a Mitch Payton built motorcycle. So what is that motorcycle like? Is that the unicorn that everybody thinks it is? I mean, yeah, it's, um, I've ridden a lot of the factory bikes and, and they're all the all the bikes are so good now that, um, it's been a, it's been a while since I've ridden a stock bike and, uh, but the, what makes it, I think so special is the amount of work that they do to, you know, get them to the level that they're at. Like, um, I mean, we still test every day and, and there's days where I'm like, Oh, the bike's this and whatever. Like, I, I mean, this kind of gets off topic of what you asked me, but like the suspension guy, like that'd be the, one of the worst jobs ever because there's days where I get off the track and I'm like, dude, it, it feels terrible here. It feels terrible here and it feels good here. But then there's days where you're so stoked on it. Um, but yeah, like honestly walking under the tent still, I, I walk under it and like a pro circuit bike just, it, it has it's a little different. bit. You're like, <laughs> they, and, and they've, you know, what's kind of cool is they've kind of looked the same yeah. for years. Like, yeah. The colorways of every, you know what I mean, like the the side of the engine and stuff. Like I I have always thought that stuff was cool. Like as a kid, you know, the green, the show of fork tubes and stuff like that. And Mitch has kept his bikes looking pretty similar for for a long time. And uh, yeah, like it's 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 cool. Like it's cool to you know walk under the tent and and see the bike with my number on it, and especially with a red plate. That's that's really exciting. So. <laughs> yeah dude i i yeah i can't imagine the uh like the first time you get to ride one of those bikes because uh dude like ivan tedesco oh stop it pro circuit 250f <laughs> like that is just the baddest shit ever and you're right man like they've kept that look the the team always kind of wears the you know the similar colorway it's like that's just i don't know it's like if there's ever a saying of if it ain't broke don't fix it it's those that pro circuit outfit yeah totally i mean like even i feel like just the side of the engine always always look the same and, and like it's i'm i analyze stuff a lot you know i think a lot of stuff's pretty cool so like the like the water pump cover has always been that red color and like mitch has just kept his stuff so similar but it's what's cool is that it was cool back in 2007, you know, or, or, or the 2008, whenever the early 250F years are. And yeah. it's still like, you still look at that bike and you're like, dude, that thing is trick. Like it is so sweet. Yeah, man. Nah, that's the, uh, yeah. Oh, it's making me want one of those bad boys. <laughs> the, uh, are, yeah, are it's, the, uh, it's pretty rad. Are all the bikes like the factory bikes at the, the level that you're at now? Like, do you think they're all pretty competitive? Like, I mean, you see Star doing what they're doing. And I think that's the, like, I mean, for me personally, like I've, I haven't ridden a modern Kawasaki 250, but I have ridden that Yamaha 250F. And like, that is a crazy, crazy dirt bike. But it's like, are the, are we seeing the bike, like Star do so good because of the bikes or is it the, the riders that they've got? on there i mean we always see him getting whole shots but justin cooper weighs like three kilos jeremy martin weighs four kilos so it's it's like i mean is it even skewed a little bit to where it's just like where we think that those bikes are better than what they are and really like everyone is so level um maybe so i think that you know like that's kind of there's been like an impression that you know like that bike is just on a whole another planet and um, I haven't ridden the bike, but, uh, I do know that our bike is very competitive. Um, I was, I've been happy with the bike. Like, you know, we got a new bike too this past year. Um, and the work that they did for that thing, you know, they, they, they had the old model, um, or the prior model for, I think it was three years, I want to say four. And they, it was like all new redesign. We had a, a hydraulic clutch and, um, a lot of new things on the bike and, and they've worked super hard to get it back up to you know this level that it's at like from stock form you know we do a lot of stuff to the bike or the teams do and uh but i, I definitely feel like we're competitive and i feel like most of the manufacturers are competitive um and i think that's why like 
there's a lot of close racing. I mean, you know, you see multiple different bikes winning some of the outdoor races and, and, uh, yeah, like I think that just like I said earlier, like everyone's working everything they can do to, to be the very best. So I think everything kind of just works in waves, you know, like, I mean, um, and like I said earlier, like I, I want to be the guy to, to end that, that wave of, you know, that other, the other teams winning, I want to win. So, and I, I, I truly think that, that I can win on this bike and, and like, I think that it's very competitive and, and the whole team is. So, um, yeah, I look forward to, you know, continuing to improve with the team and, and like, I think that, you know, um, it's, it's pretty obvious that they're all competitive, like that we're competitive as well. Like, I mean, I, I had a lot of good races this year. I had good starts and, and, uh, yeah, like I think that everyone's working together to, to be the best and to bridge the gap to win. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that what you're sort of finding out right now and like what you're going through in your career is that it sort of isn't just on you, right? Like there is this whole kind of team dynamic that comes together and, and whether that's like your girlfriend, then, you know, the relationship that you got with Nick and then uh, AC and then you've got the relationship with the team. It's like part of winning a championship is just not being the fastest guy, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, the the ability to work with the team and my trainers and everything is is so important. Like, you know, you can you can have the best bike ever, but without being able to work together and and uh, utilizing your resources, like you're not gonna be able to make it happen. I think that I have every resources. I have all the resources. You know, like like our suspension guys and motor guys, everyone like as long as you know i am able to work together with them and communicate properly with them um you know that they're gonna throw everything at me like that's another thing that you know i've always i'm always willing to do whatever it takes and i feel like my group of people around me are also willing to do whatever it takes so that's super motivating too to be able to you know when we're at the test track like they'll test till i'm happy and that's that's like pretty motivating to to uh you know have people the group of people in the in together with the same goal in mind and the same you know like the same end goal basically if you enjoyed this content please like and subscribe and to listen to the full three-hour podcast search gypsy tales in your favorite podcast platform or click the link in the description below gypsy gang